you know, it's easy. And that's why you see a lot of ex-Muslims as well jumping on the bandwagon. It's so, I mean, I've said this a hundred times before. Hypothetically, let's say that I, that I apostated, you know, like I prayed to Allah that never happens, right? And I doubt that will. But let's say that it happened. You know, I know for a fact that I would, I would, I would, be, I would be made. <laughs> I would be made. I would be the king of the Mordas. I would be like... My my level of 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 retor- rhetoric and my level of uh, comprehension of the subject is vastly superior to any of these people that are currently out there. Like Abdullah Samir would be bowing to my feet. Okay, that would be like this is you know I know this for a fact. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I would be the solid rock man of the universe. These people. Okay, so you know and and it's <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. But I'm not going to do it, obviously. But, you know, but it's so easy. Like, I mean, I'm saying, I'm like, you know, I would, like, right now I'm struggling. Going through grad school and all this other stuff. And, you know, working odd jobs on the side and doing research work and things like this. But I know for a fact, I mean, I would be banking if I just came out tomorrow. I was like, I'm an ex-Muslim. I mean, Yasmin Mohammed would try to marry me. Okay, this is, you know. (laughs) So I wouldn't accept. But you know, uh, <laughs> I'm not that desperate. 